It's for you. It's if you want moving. it. Oh, thanks. Wait, how did I get to this moment of handing Elon Musk a Tesla bot on AI day? Well, when the stork delivered Optimus to my doorstep many months ago, I knew I had to help get him home. And what better way than to go to AI day? Unfortunately, I didn't have a ticket, but Optimus begged me to do whatever I could. So we drove down from Portland to Palo Alto. Well, that's not the whole story, but let me tell you a little bit more about how this came to be and why I just, uh, you guys, honestly, I still can't get over it. <laughs> I had originally planned to go to Florida for the launch of Crew 5, but with the hurricane that was delayed and I knew that AI Day was the same Friday that I was planning to fly out. So I thought, hey, I'm not that far away in Portland, maybe I should drive down. So that's exactly what I did, taking Tesla Bot with me. It was a long journey, almost 11 hours each way, but we got down there, yet I still didn't have a ticket. I did want to be in the area because as you guys know, I love to get interviews in person and I knew a lot of people in the Tesla community were obviously going to be there. So when I finally got to the Palo Alto area, I quickly met up with Chuck Cook for lunch and then we did an interview. Now, this was only a few hours before the actual event. His name is in your Tesla and you might be wondering why. My plan was to interview people going inside the event and getting their pre and post reactions, but that wasn't going to work because security was really tight. But in the 11th hour, I found out that they were accepting some guests. And so I called Chuck and I said, hey, can I come be your guest? And so here we are inside the venue. Of course, Tesla always puts on amazing events, amazing food. Just they they really know how to throw a party. We had uh, live art on the Tesla semi truck going inside. There were plenty of photo opportunities. They even had the latest generation Tesla bot set up with a halo light and a mini photo booth that you could send yourself a picture. How cool is that? And then of course there were all of the engineers giving a presentation also on hand to talk to and mingle with. It was just an amazing time, but by far the most amazing moment for me was when I got to personally hand my bot to Elon Musk. This was definitely not a guarantee. In fact, he exited stage pretty quickly and then he came back out and I just had to shoot my shot like Wayne Gretzky style. So I offered him the bot and this is a moment that I will never forget. I of course would love to interview Elon Musk, but this uh, is a great first step just getting to meet him and personally thanking him for everything he is doing to change the world. Uh, I came from Google and called me. Hey, Sorry, if I do pictures, it's going to be nutty. I just wanted to show you this. Yeah, Can I do what? You got, you got this for you. It's for you. Yeah. It's if you want it. Oh, thanks. You can shout it out, but I can't promise anything. Thank you so much. Put it up to you. Oh my gosh, you're the best. <laughs> okay. What do you think about it? Oh, it's cool, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for Elon, everything you do for Are you scared of AI plus Optimus in 10 years? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I work at Google and I want to join Tesla. I think we better, we better stay scared, you know? Yeah. Um, I work at Google and I do want to join Tesla. Okay. After this, this is my first time doing Google. All right, cool. It's very cool. Cool. Well, I hope you had a good time. Uh, we really went into depth there, you know, so. Uh, but I think if you like technology, it's pretty interesting. Yes, yes, yes. All right, cool. Get on, jeez. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, so I am here. We are wrapping up AI day two and wow, we got so much information. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of work to process everything that we heard tonight, but I wanted to give you this look at the Tesla Semi. They were actually doing this artwork live for us. So that was pretty awesome. And I was able to 
briefly chat with Elon, which was amazing. Um, I brought a little 3D printed Tesla bot that Bohemso, this company out of Florida, uh, makes and gave it to him, told him thank you for everything that he's doing. And so tonight has been insane. Um, and I can't wait to share that clip with you, but I just wanted to give you a little update and show you some cool stuff here at AI Day. Got the, got the shirt with the, uh, the arms, the hands, um, and look at just this artwork. Oops, sorry. So they were actively painting this uh, two artists that are originally from Japan and actually flew in from New York to make this beautiful art. So anyway, yeah, today has been crazy. Um, I met Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah. Now I plan to release some more content and some more deep dives into AI day, but this is just a quick video wrapping up some of the highlights with really just an unexpected twist of fate. I of course had been planning to go to Florida that day. And then I thought that it was maybe a little bit ridiculous to drive all the way down to AI day without a ticket. But for some reason, I guess perseverance and showing up is just the first step in things happening the way that you want them to. So I'm very grateful for this moment and just have so much respect for the AI team and all of the work that they're doing. It's amazing to see what they've been able to create and put together in such a short time. And I am just so excited for the future. I know that you guys are too. So. Thank you so much for sharing this journey with me. It has truly been a journey. And again, we just have so much to look forward to.